I know that they feel like we do. They feel pain, they feel hunger, they're scared. My mission is animals and people that love their animals and want to keep them. My name's Tina Bratcher and I live in, here in Lexington, Missouri and uh, moved out here about 10 years ago because I was a male lady and I kept picking up strays on the route and just, you know, living in the city, you can't have that many animals, so we just moved out here. I can't feed my animals anymore. I've had people say that to me over the phone. When I have to choose between feeding my kids and feeding my animals, I have to feed my kids. When people call I, and say they can't afford it, I said, I'll help you get them spayed and neutered and their shots and um, help you feed them and if they will agree to keep them. So I have my rounds that I make uh, every day, various places feeding cats and uh, dogs. These are all broken bags that we get donated. This one isn't. Uh -huh. I bought that one myself. People you know, had to cut back on everything and everything got more expensive. All the groceries got more expensive. It's hard to make it. Okay, I think this is the place we're going today. You want to carry that in? This is sunny. <laughs> I couldn't afford to buy them dog food. And the uh, beans and rice I got from the church. And we didn't eat it, so I just fed it to the dogs. So they'd have something to eat too. So many of them are at their wit's end. They, uh, you know, what, what do they do? They can't feed them, they can't feed themselves. And um, so I'm glad to be able to offer some kind of solution to where they can keep them because I can't. It doesn't matter, whatever you give me, they're oh. all gonna eat it okay. if I need to. Her husband died and they had to take out a second mortgage oh, before he died because of oh. medical expenses and things like that. And she's just destitute and she has like 10 cats and one dog. I try to make sure that all of her animals um, have food and that she has kitty litter and things like that. Tina is one of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my whole life. She always makes me feel, up, uplifts me, you know. Uh, I get so down, you know, a lot of times. And uh, yeah, I just see that face of hers, you know, and I feel like I have a, a rock, you know. I don't get afraid anymore. You know, you just have a heart and not, um, there's people that like animals and have their own animals, but then there's people that have this heart thing going that you just can't, somebody said, keep up the good work, Tina. Well, I don't have a choice, you know, it's because it's here and you just have to do it. Tina, thank you, honey. You're thank welcome. you for that. It means the world to them. I know it would be for me. And I'll say, don't you think it, don't you even worry about it. Because someday I might be in the same position and somebody's going to come and help me with all my animals. So don't you even think twice about it. You know, oh, I wish I could, I wish I could do more. Or I wish I could help you or I wish I could pay you back. Me, but, you, know? <laughs> you know, just being able to help them. And I said, someday somebody will help me. Mm -hmm.